Hey guys, okay, I got my Roku 2 box all set up here. It's connected to my TV via HDMI. Um, it is a 720p TV, so the output's going to be at 720p. So here is the home screen. As you can see here, very simple crossbar type UI system. I really like it. It's very simple, non cluttering, and easy to use. It's all you basically navigate with the directional buttons there and you select with the OK button. So I'm going to show you around the different uh, channels I have. I have um, Netflix, Pandora, Angry Birds, Revision 3, which I like to watch Dignation a lot, so um, Twit, which unfortunately you cannot watch the Twit live stream. I would hope that would be possible, but there's some workarounds around that. You have to use uh, a streaming service called Justin TV, which they have their own channel as well. It's a private channel. Uh, Hulu Plus, which I use to watch TV shows. Rate Ricks uh, lets you watch YouTube videos since they removed the official YouTube app, so you can have to use this. CNET and uh, the USB Media Play, which allows you to uh, play stuff off of a USB flash drive or an external hard drive. So. So these are all my apps. I'm gonna demo a few stuff for you. Let's play Angry Birds, since this is the X S S S X or X S model. Um, it includes an enhanced remote. So this is the enhanced remote. It has these two colored buttons here, which indicates that it's a gaming controller, and it does have an accelerometer, which allows you to control uh, the game via wrist movements. Um, and another cool thing that it is an RF remote or it uses radio frequency so you don't have to point it directly at, um, at the box when using it so that's pretty nice I think the lower end models include an IR remote so you're gonna have to point it directly but this you don't, this is cool so here you can navigate with the cursor by moving the, the, the remote so let's click play Let's play a level for you guys. Um, level 8. Okay, basically you can control the camera with the directional buttons and you can zoom in and out uh, by uh, pressing up and down. So basically you press the hold OK button to pull back and you let go. And that was a horrible shot. <laughs> Let's try to aim for those rocks there. Nice. Okay. Damn it. Control is really easy to use. Anybody can probably pick it up and then play instantly uh, without any instructions. Very intuitive controls. Come on. And the accelerometer is very fun to use, and yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I failed this level, but that's Angry Birds for you. I played much better off camera. So let's go back, or let's press the home button, and it brings you directly back to the home screen. So that was Angry Birds. Let's show you uh, video streaming via Hulu Plus. Right now, I'm I'm tending to like Hulu Plus better than Netflix. I don't know, but it's just the selection of TV shows and stuff. I tend to play with Hulu Plus more. Right now, I'm not even subscribed to any of them. I'm just using the the month's trial right now for being a student. But yeah, was when you launch it, it's noticed that I left off a video later. So it's asking me if I want to resume it, which I am not right now. But yeah, look at it. You can go to the features shows there, and you can browse. You can see the recently added, browse movies, TV, most popular, and your profile, and recommended. Pretty nice. And you can see your queue history, subscriptions. 
recommendations and so forth. So that's who plus. It's a bit sluggish, but I've seen people complain about that with the other models too, so it might be just the, the channel. They might have to update the channel uh, code or something like that. So that was that, and let's check out Pandora, which is internet streaming, internet radio streaming. As far as I get into copyright problems. Yeah, you can see there's nice album art there. It shows the artist album, the time. You can bookmark it, like it, dislike it, skip all the basic Pandora controls. So you can see all my radios there. Um, you can create a new station. Very, very cool. Very simple layout, which I like. So that's Pandora. And let me show you Netflix. And here you can search for movies and TV shows and see what I recently watched there. IT Crowd, a very, very funny show. Um, so yeah, you can see the different categories. Very, very intuitive. I like how the icons are large and you can see them easily. Just navigate through and browse different kind of movies and TV shows. You can see different categories, action, adventure, anime, stuff like that. You can see the ratings, how long it is, when it was released, and a quick description of it in that uh, bubble icon there. So that is Netflix. So in order to add a channel or remove a channel, you go to the channel store. So let's show you that. Takes a bit to load up. Okay, so it is separated into rows of categories, and you can see the my channels are on the top here. Um, featured, new, most popular, top rated, top paid movies and TV games. Two different games here. And there's your Angry Birds, um, radio, music, stuff like that, and it's very easy to install. You just select one that you're interested in like possibly Facebook and then you can click add channel you can see the rating and you must edit it to rate it okay uh, so that's the channel store very simple laid out very nice UI I like it very clean and simple so that is it uh, Let's go through the settings before I end this video. You can see about network display type audio mode. You can read through it. So, yep. Thanks for watching uh, my quick hands on of the Roku 2 XS. I am loving this. Uh, I, I might cancel cable because there's no need for it. You can stream all your TV shows and videos and watch what you want to watch. So, thanks for watching.